Hello Darklings, Lightlings, and everybody in between. How are you today? Welcome back if you're returning, and if you're new, hi. <laughs> Consider subscribing, and thank you for all of your support. And also, I wanted to thank you guys who have bought my book on Amazon, Destiny Bloodline Sagas. Get it? it Our topic today is... Uh, reality shifting um shift talk i was scrolling on youtube today and uh i see a lot of people uh criticizing or um talking about this and i wanted to explore it for a few reasons um i don't think it is that bizarre um not as other people seem to be taking it as like this bizarre thing that these kids are doing on TikTok, but um, I want to explain for why I think that it's valid and uh, interesting. So let's get into it. So for those of you who are not aware of what reality shifting is, um, in our community, I think a lot more people will recognize this to be what we do kind of on a daily basis or nightly, or it's just kind of a reality for us people in our community or a lot of community members that I do talk to. Um, on reality shifting or shift talk, uh, what that is, if you're not aware, is these kids are scripting a reality they desire and then they induce a certain state or trance and attempt to shift their reality into the desired reality that they have scripted for themselves. Yeah, so I see other YouTubers uh, just kind of talking about it, uh, mocking it a bit, you know, criticizing, which I can see how on a surface level for those who um, aren't into the occult or practice spirituality or certain concepts of it, uh, or even magic really, what is it that we always work with or try to accomplish that is manifesting our desired reality, right? I see why a lot of people are kind of side-eyeing it and going, what the hell? But also, I wanted to point out a few things, um, only because I think, <laughs> I just want to say, nothing has been achieved by believing things are impossible to do. All life is, is possibilities, right? And results from that outcome. Yeah, so people do this all the time. We all know that perception of our realities are all perceived differently. Perception is called reality. However, there are many truths, many perspectives, many point of views. So we all kind of perceive our own reality um, very individually, but also collectively. There are things like quantum jumping, parallel realities, the multiverse theories. Um, Infinite numbers of realities exist. In ancient times, there are all kinds of stories related to different beings, different realms. For example, uh, the Fae taking people or people disappearing in fairy circles. Then we have disappearances like in national forests and their very mysterious circumstances where people or a child will disappear in these forests and then they're found in locations that were already searched or miles away that would have kind of been impossible for a child to get to like they would find them on the cliff of a mountain with no shoes and no idea how they traveled that far within that amount of time or hours and uh, got through the harsh conditions of that area. And then taking that a step further, I wanted to tell you guys a story. And this story happened quite recently. So a man was traveling with a legit passport from a place that does not exist in our reality called Torrid. Some of you may have heard of this story. 
But in 1954, at a Tokyo airport, a plane from Europe landed around this time. Customs noticed a strange man. Um, his appearance alone was ordinary. Um, just another guy, you know, in the airport. However, in an interview, they asked why he was present. He said he was on a business trip. The officer asked where he was from, which he confidently said, Torrid. He said that it was a country that resided between France and Spain, but we know this country does not exist in our reality. The man spoke mostly French and some Japanese along with other languages. His wallet contained various currencies from multiple countries. When he presented his passport, it was issued from Torrid and had many visas from other countries that were stamped and appeared legit to the officers. And it confirmed that he had actually traveled to many places in the world. It kind of collaborated with his story, um, but it was confusing because of this mysterious toward place, right? After the passport, to add to that, the man provided the officer with a driver's license that was also issued from the country toward. The man was adamant about making it to his uh, business appointment in Japan and when authorities called this place, they said that the company he was talking about that he worked for never existed. Also, the man told authorities what hotel he had booked and planned to stay at. They called that hotel and they said they had no, they said that they had none of his information in their systems, that his name did not exist in their bookings. Even the bank on his checkbook was non-existent in our reality. The man started to feel like the authorities were pranking him or messing with him. Um, and he became upset, replying like, what do you mean my country doesn't exist? Um, like, I, I have the proof here. Like. This guy couldn't figure out what was going on and neither could the authorities. So while they were figuring everything out, the authorities wanted to keep him overnight contained in a locked hotel room by the airport and there were immigration officers at the door all night long. But the next morning, the man from Torrid had disappeared. And that's not all. All of his documents, which were in a secure area in the airport, had disappeared as well. This mystery was never solved. Now to add to strange stories like this one, we also should include the Mandela Effect, magic, like manifestation, uh, meditation, astral work, dream realms, glitches in the matrix. The point is, while people are laughing at these kids are kind of mocking them, um, which I get it, hee hee, funny. But <laughs> to me, it's not really funny because it's kind of like my reality. So I'm like, yeah, but they could be, <laughs> you know? Because um, people like us, we, we attempt to do that all the time and have many experiences. And it isn't just in spiritual communities. There's science out there. Um, and also stories, lore, all kinds of things um, from everywhere. Very widespread stories like these. And um, I'm betting that a lot of you guys even have a story where you've shifted reality. Like here's one of mine, for example. Not long ago, I remember waking up one day and my partner and I were in a very heated argument and uh, I thought he threw something like a glass jar and it had ex like burst all over our room. But then it was like, I lost time, came back and it had never happened. And I, I had asked him about it and he's like, what are you talking about? We never argued. And I was like, the glass is still in the room. I took him in, he took me in there and he's like, look, there's nothing. And I was baffled. I was like, wow, <laughs> did I just shift realities there? Um, if you have a story like that,
comment below. Let me know. I'm interested. I think it's a neat and entertaining topic to explore. I think there's definitely something to this. And um, I kind of hate that existing popular um, opinion growth of shaming others' experiences or uh, ridiculing others because you're unable to perceive reality in the way that they are. The fact is that there are many realities and we have many abilities, including the ability to shift our reality or even manifest or create our own reality. So, in conclusion, my thoughts are, could some of these kids be doing this and playing with it for like fun or clout? Absolutely. But also, do I think that our youth is a bit more advanced than we are and that new things are coming to light about the world or universe we live in every day? Yes, I do. I think our youth is uh, definitely more advanced in these areas and discovering the possibilities within our reality and theirs. Um, let me know what you think. That's kind of my thoughts about this topic. My alarm went off. But anyway, fun to explore, fun to think about, and uh, yeah, I'm just like, let people do their thing, man. And let me know what you thought about the Torrid story. Until next time, much love, guys.